Hello everybody, I'm Dax Nylander. <clears throat> this video is more or less going to be a response to uh, my friend Ed. He lives here in Colorado Springs. He was going on about why Occupy Colorado Springs failed. He was bringing up points about how there was antagonists, how we had one particular antagonist, Mr. Clean we called him, who uh, kept arguing with us. He was going on about a tea partier, a tea partier who was allowed to speak at a general assembly. And overall, why the, uh, I can't really say movement, failed. Uh, I guess I can say the entire movement failed. It failed because everyone wanted to make it what they wanted to make it. Occupy never had a goal. It, well, actually, it did have one goal. Occupy Wall Street was about holding the bankers accountable and the government accountable. That was the main goal of Occupy Wall Street. I remember the first day. I was there the first day for anyone who can believe that. It was, they got bailed out, we got sold out. That's what Occupy Wall Street was. The last GA I attended, which was basically to see if there was anything to salvage from it, they were talking about protesting for free health care. They were talking about protesting a power plant, all those kinds of things. I didn't know what to expect when I went to go to when I went to Occupy Wall Street. I thought we were going to hold the government accountable as well as the bankers accountable. My main goal was to hold the government accountable as they were the ones who gave them the bailouts. <clears throat> That's what I really wanted out of it. But Occupy Wall Street changed. It became about $20 minimum wage. It became about health care. It became about all these issues that it was never supposed to touch. And then at some point it just lost its way entirely. Nobody knew. Everyone tried to make it their own. Everyone tried to... I don't want to say co-opt, because that's that's not the right word. No, Not everybody would support much anything unless it personally benefited them. The reason Occupy Wall Street failed was because there was no common goal. A lot of people forgot they got bailed out, we all saw it. They chanted it, they sang it, they shouted it from wherever they were marching, wherever they were protesting. But the honest to God reason is I don't think anybody knew why they were there. They were just angry, it was raw, emotional. There was hardly any real thought to it. It failed because there was nothing to it. It was just a bunch of angry people being angry and trying to find someone to blame. Sort of like the Tea Party. Except they pointed their finger in a general direction. It's just that Occupy decided to try and point one finger in 500 different directions. One at the government, one at the bank, one at uh, the Federal Reserve, one at just everywhere medical marijuana. It, it took on all these issues that it just overloaded itself. It drove people away. It attracted too many enemies. It didn't have what was necessary for a movement to succeed. It didn't have... how can I put this? It didn't have conviction or passion for any particular goal. It was, well, I want to do this, well, I want to do this, well, I want to do this, well, how about we go and do this? There was disrespect at every turn from what I've seen. I'm not going to lie, it was part of it. But I never saw anyone as my enemy unless they wronged me in some way. Tea partiers, yeah, I was... I was one of those guys who thought maybe the Tea Party and Occupy Wall Street could join together. Maybe we could actually get something done. Wrong was I. Wrong was I. Yeah, I do take a lot of blame for it. Yeah, I do. The only reason I'm making I'm pretty sure I, I think I made a video like this before, but... I don't know, just thinking about my own personal failure in it just spurred another video. But the reason Occupy failed was because there was no passion for any particular issue. Which is pretty much what a movement should usually is based on.
if there was a movement to just hold the bankers accountable or to just hold the government accountable, that might have gotten somewhere. But taking on all these issues, testing everyone's faith, that's the reason I left was once it became about uh, stuff I didn't believe in, I left. I tried to stick it out, you know, let's try and get our focus back over here. Didn't happen. Blame myself for that. Not trying enough. But that's the real reason. We can sit there and blame antagonists, and we can sit there and blame police. You can sit there and blame Eric Verlo or uh, just antagonists in general. But people who have true belief, people who truly want to see something change, will just give them the flipper and walk away. Just ignore them. Because they have something more important than their pride or their ego to work for. I'm not saying this to be a dickhead, if you ever see this. Why I'm, tell why I'm saying this is, for anyone out there who is really questioning why Occupy Wall Street failed, it's because it never had a clear motive. And what, what vague motive there was in the beginning was lost. It was lost. At, it lost out to what others had personally to gain from it. That's all there is to it.